creating the Navy wife. When the good Lord was creating Navy wives, he was well into overtime of all that he had created. An angel appeared and said, are you having trouble creating this woman, Lord? What's wrong with the standard model? The Lord replied, have you seen the specifications on this order? She has to be extra strong and completely independent. Don't cry. I'll cry if you cry. <laughs> she has to have the qualities of both mother and father during long times apart from her spouse. She has to be a perfect and gracious hostess when out-of-state sailors arrive needing her hospitality. She has to run circles on nothing but caffeine and respond to emergencies, oftentimes alone and without hesitation. She has to nurse her sick children to health, sometimes without the support of her husband. She has to plan birthdays, attend school events, and spend holidays alone. She has to be able to pick up, pack up, and move around the world, if need be, on a moment's notice. Her kiss has to have healing capabilities when her children are sad and missing their daddy. She has to have the patience of a saint when waiting for his ship to come in. She has to function with only two hands while often needing a few more. She has to operate independently while often feeling like she could use a clone or two or 10. The angel shook his head slowly and said, more than two hands, a clone? This order sounds too complicated. And the Lord replied, don't worry, we'll create other Navy wives to help. Besides, it's not the hands or lack thereof that are causing the problem, it's the heart. The heart must swell with pride in her husband, sustain the ache of separations, beat on soundly and strongly when it's too tired to do so and be large enough to say, I understand, when she really doesn't. The Lord continued, and she has to have the ability to love, honor, and support her sailor husband, no matter the circumstance. The angel touched the Lord's arm gently. Go to bed, you can finish this tomorrow. I cannot, said the Lord. I'm determined to create something wonderful and unique. Already I have one that heals herself when she is unwell can feed a half dozen unexpected guests without prior notice, and can wave goodbye to her husband from a pier or a runway and fully understand that it is important to our country that he leave. The angel circled the model of the Navy wife very slowly. It's too soft, he sighed. But tough, said the Lord, excitedly. You cannot imagine what awesome things this woman will be able to do or endure when I am finished with the angel continued, but the model appears broken. You see, you've made her eyes weak, and there is a tear on her face. Does this mean she will be weak? Not at all, said the Lord. I did not put that tear there. Compassion was the first ingredient. Already this model is overflowing with it, and I've only just begun my creation. Not all women are created to be Navy wives. But of the ones who are, we have been filled with extra special ingredients by God. Chris, even though Louie is retiring from the Navy, you will always be that model of a woman, a wife, with extra special ingredients. And Louie should be eternally grateful to God for creating you for him. <laughs>